fact, the only prime of the form n cubed minus 1 is 7. If you like watching proofs of facts, theorems, corollaries, subscribe to my channel. That's all we do here. Okay. So, to prove this, first note that n cubed minus 1 is or n minus 1 times n squared plus n plus 1. It's the difference of two cubes. One cube is also one. Okay, so let P be of the form n cubed plus 1. That is, P is equal to this product. P is equal to a product. Well, since P is prime, the only two factors that P can have is 1 and P. Of course, it can be the other way around. This can be P, and this can be 1. That is, either n minus 1 is 1, or n squared plus n plus 1 is 1. One of those two have to be 1. Well, n minus 1, oops, n minus 1 equals 1. That's a simple one. That implies n is 2. n squared plus n plus 1 equals 1. That implies taking away n from both sides that n squared plus n is 0. But that implies n times n plus 1 is 0. That implies n is 0 or this is 0, so n is negative 1. Okay, so let's see what p can equal. If p is 2, you get 2 cubed minus 1, which is 8 minus 1, which is 7. That is, p can equal 7. One moment. Now, what if, so let me write that down. That was for n is equal to 2. Now, if n is equal to 0, that means p is equal to 0 cubed minus 1, which is 0 minus 1, which is negative 1. Negative 1 is not a prime number. Prime numbers have to be 2 or more. If n is equal, so it can't be that, what about n is equal to negative 1? That means p is negative 1 cubed minus 1, which is negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2. p cannot equal negative 2. So that's out. So our conclusion is that p can be 7. Hence, P equals 7 is the only solution. And that completes the proof. Only the prime P is equal to 7 is of the form n cubed minus 1. Nice quick proof. I just used the fact, two facts, that this fact is to that, and if p is prime, if p is equal to this time that, either this is 1 or that's 1. I could have said this equals p or that equals p, but that would have been more complicated, if not impossible, to work with. Either the first factor is 1 or the second factor is 1. One of them had to be 1. You know, P can't be 2 times 3. Because that would mean 2 is a factor of P, and 3 is a factor of P. Doesn't happen. P is prime. Subscribe to my channel. Click the like button. See you guys in the next video.
Watch and learn.